Afternoon guys. So today we're going to be talking about ducting and airflow. Ducting and airflow is, is all your vents that you have inside of your house. So you have all your vents, you're usually inside of the, in the ceiling and blowing all the air out. And you have one large vent that usually has uh, where the filter goes normally. And that large vent um, is it's called a return. It's where all the air returns into the unit. The other vents that are a little smaller, they're called your supply. They're the vents that supply the air inside your house. So the return is where all the hot air from your hot house returns into the house. And those supplies is where the cold air blows out into your house if you're turning on your air conditioner. If you're turning on your heater, the hot air is gonna be blowing out of those supplies because it's supplying the house with hot air. And the return is where the cold air is going to return to turn into hot air. All right, so that's supply and return. So imagine ducting an airflow uh, like irrigation or um, a sprinkler system in your front yard. So say if you got this section right here, point A, and it's the front of your grass and it gets nice and watered exactly the way it needs to. But over here at point B, that part of the grass does not get watered just like this guy. And then you got part C, that guy gets okay water, but not too much, right? So you got point A, the water flow is great, supplying exactly where it needs to. Point C, it's not bad. Point B, not good at all. So what I put in, imagine it as airflow. If I want point A to feel exactly the same as point B and point C, if I want everyone to be even with, with uh, water flow, I have to put what's called a damper, uh, something that moves the water where I need it to go. So if I put in a damper here, one here and one here, now I'm going to regulate how much water goes to each connection so that every connection becomes equal, becomes even. It's the same thing with ducting inside of a house. If this is your master bedroom and you're getting a ton of airflow, but then you got your child's room, right? Your child's room doesn't get that great of airflow because it's way crossover to the other end of the house, right? And then you got another child's room that gets okay airflow. I have to do that same uh, principle. I have to put this damper here, this damper here, this damper here to move the air where I need it to go so that everyone gets an equal amount of air throughout the house. So that's called uh, dampers, right? So that's your ducting. Your ducting inside of the house is where all those vents are going to. But, you know, 80% of homes do not have these dampers installed. Why? Because it's not required. It's not a code, it's not required. It's something that's added onto a system. So when we talk about, well, why does it cost so much to do this or do that? It's all these little things that homes do not come with and you won't know about until someone like myself goes in and explains the benefits of why you would want to do all of this, right? Because if you're waiting for your son's to, room to get um, cold like yours, you're going to be running the unit a lot longer than you need to because you're just trying to cool this room down. That's where I come in and I save you money. I save you money in your long run by making everything even, by making your airflow even throughout. So you're ducking in your attic. Remember, it does not have these things. It does not have those dampers installed. 80% of homes never had them. They're still not a requirement. Still not a requirement yet in building code. So a brand new home doesn't have it unless you've told the a builder, hey, I wanna put these things in. They won't do it automatically on their own because these cost money. Airflow, if you wanna change how much airflow goes or where it goes to, that's when you have to go ahead and add these things into the system. The other thing you could do as well is, is if maybe the heater, maybe the blower is too small for the home and it's not supplying where it needs to. Say if the homeowner did a room addition, they now opened up square footage into their home where the unit was never designed to feed that much square footage. You're gonna automatically drop the amount of airflow you got by adding a room addition and not upgrading the blower to that system. You're now going to starve it, basically. So ducting and airflow. Ducting is inside of your house. 
The airflow in which that makes it even will be called uh, dampers. If you guys have any questions about airflow, about certain rooms not cooling down compared to others, this will help quite a bit for homeowners to understand that, okay, this could be a scenario that we need to tackle and that we need to go ahead and make sure we accomplish before the job is done. All right, thanks.